On the 3rd of August, I spoke in this house on the motion on empowering women. During my speech, I had shared an anecdote of a survivor of sexual assault. I was not present with the survivor in the police station as I described. The anecdote was shared by the survivor in a women's support group for women, which I was a part of. I did not share that I was a part of the group as I did not have the courage to publicly admit that I was part of it. I attended this support group because I myself am a survivor of sexual assault. I was sexually assaulted when I was 18 studying abroad. That assault has traumatized me till this day. The fear and shame accompanying sexual assault is extreme and long lasting as it has been and still is for me. Unlike the survivor whose anecdote I shared in this house, I did not have the courage to report my own assault. Yet, as a survivor, I wanted so deeply to speak up and also share the account I had heard when speaking on the motion without revealing my own private experience. I should not have shared the survivor's anecdote without her consent, nor should I have said that I accompanied her to the police station when I had not. It was wrong of me to do so. To survivors of sexual violence, I hope that this does not deter you from reporting your assaults. In sharing an anecdote without consent, I disregarded the principle of consent in discussions around survivors, consent, and sexual assault. As a survivor myself, I feel this failure deeply. It is important for me to take responsibility for my actions, for my error of judgment, and to set the record straight. I wish to correct the record by retracting the anecdote that I shared on the 3rd of August, and I wish to apologize to the Singapore police force. Lastly, I want to apologize to the survivor whose quote I use, to the house, to my constituents, to the Workers' Party, its members, and volunteers, and to my family, especially to my parents. To the residents of Sengkang, I'll work even harder for you. Thank you.